Hello, this is Steve Olson from It's a CAD World. In this example, we're going to take a look at the ability of iLogic to save something as a PDF. In a previous video, we looked at creating an external rule that was run every time the file was saved. Here, we're going to look at having an, uh, a little bit more advanced version of that rule, which will verify that the file is actually a IDW or DWG before it saves it. Lots of companies do not see the need for having a PDF of 3D models. So here I have a model open. I'm going to use my uh, iLogic browser down here to create a brand new external rule. And we'll call this advanced PDF creation. This example is going to look a little bit more like true modular programming. I'm going to start out with a sub called main. And in that, I'm going to use file name is equal to document file name. You'll see that here it says false without extension. We're going to change this to true. Which will mean this is with extension. The next thing we're going to look is we're going to say, well, the file extension is equal to under strings right of file name what this is doing is basically telling it that it's going to file extension is going to be the three characters on the right side of file name which is going to basically be the extension then we're going to um, we're going to create an if then statement that if file extension equals IDW, then we're going to have it run a sub called save as. PDF. We're going to then have an else if statement that is very similar that if that if file extension equals DWG, then it's going to do the same thing. It's going to do the save as PDF. We're going to have our else statement be that if the alternative is that it's anything besides an IDW or DWGF, DWG, we're going to have it run the error message sub. So I have my end if, then I'll have it end my sub. We'll create a new sub called save as PDF. And I'm going to use uh, I'm going to copy and paste out of another file here. Just to, this is the same text as the simple save as PDF, where it grabs the workspace, it removes the, uh, it identifies the length of the workspace path, removes those characters uh, from the directory path of that and then it creates and saves the PDF. So that's going to be the end of this sub. My other sub is going to be called error message.
and basically I just want the the sub to display in a message box saying that this is not a drawing file and no PDF will be created so I'm going to go to my wizards tab here message box and the message box title here will be advanced PDF creation or the name of the rule or some, something else um, it will allow it be an error and the message or the button will be okay and then we'll say this is not a drawing file no PDF will be created say okay to this you'll add that and then I'll just add a end sub here say okay to this it'll create the rule I'm in an IDW file so I'm gonna get this error message I have a drawing of this open I'm gonna jump over here right click on this run rule I do not get the error verify go over to IPT run rule get the error message so I did create the PDF of this let's run out to that directory uh, PDFs there's plate I do have that plate file created so this is the advanced creation of PDFs thank you for watching this video please look for more of my iLogic videos and other inventor and Autodesk topics here on it's a CAD world thank you